Good morning, YouTube. Axel here with a bit of news. Yesterday there was a short stream from BG where devs uh, played some arena. Uh, they played arena. There is a new mode in arena called Last Hero, which is uh, <laughs> which is surprisingly good. Um, I've tried it out as well, and basically it's like a free for all deathmatch where you select your kit, you spawn in, um, you shoot people, you die, and you can instantly respawn. Uh, and it works quite flawless, I would say, in terms of stutters and everything. It feels, it doesn't feel like it feels good. So if you do have arena already, give it a go. I think you will enjoy it. It's a wonderful way to warm up um, before your main Tarkov raids. And later on, Nikita joined um, Nikita joined the stream as well, and he addressed and answered a couple of questions, which I'm gonna go through. So overall, the stream is really long. It's uh, two and a half hours. I translated it in my channel, so if you go to my Twitch and check my previous what you can see the translation. But either way, I'll save you time and just go through the main points. Um, all right. So first of all, Nikita did Nikita did apologize for the situation. Um, however, well, he did apologize a couple of times for the whole situation, but I think a lot of people were expecting him to apologize and saying that he admits that he messed up uh, personally. Um, but he didn't word it in a such a way. Secondly, uh, Nikita did confirm that PvE for EOD started rolling out. Um, they started rolling it out yesterday. Some EOD users already have PvE. I had a couple of, well, <laughs> one one of my viewers in specific telling me they got uh, PvE with an EO their EOD mode yesterday. And as Nikita mentioned, uh, that will be done in waves. And hopefully... Um, they just started buying and renting new servers and hopefully within the next two weeks every single EOD user will have access to PvE. I personally don't care too much for PvE, it's nice, it's nice to have it, but I don't think I'll be playing it much. And most likely after those two weeks when every single EOD user has access to PvE, this is when BSG are gonna roll out PvE as a purchasable option on the website. And uh, if you have a standard edition, you will be able to buy it separately. All right, next thing is Arena and Tarkov Sync will happen in 0 0.1, 0.8, 0.0 or whatever. Basically, it's supposed to happen in June. BSG are going to link Arena and Tarkov, so your accounts will be interlinked. And that leads to two things. First of all, whenever you play Arena, all your skills are locked at level 30. Every single match, your skills are level 30. However, if you shoot, if you run... Um, that levels up your endurance, right? And you leveling up your endurance, you level leveling up your recoil skill, you leveling up your strength, etc, etc, etc. That XP is gonna go straight to your Tarkov PMC, and in such a way you can level your skills in Tarkov by playing Arena. And secondly, you will be able to transfer rubles from Arena to Tarkov and vice versa. However, we are unsure about the conversion rate, you will have to pay some fee. And they also mentioned that you won't be able to transfer all your rubles in one go. There will be some limitations. Um, maybe you will be able to transfer like maybe 1 million rubles per day or something. Um, I don't know, but they confirmed that you will be able to transfer rubles one way or another. Nikita also mentioned that uh, whenever they will release the new items, uh, they will always balance them. And even if, if they are too OP, they will delete those items. Speaking of the distress signal in specific. Um, Arena will get search and destroy mode in the future, so like CSGO, for example, when you plant the bombs and um, content areas have to defuse them. And overall, uh, Arena will be moving towards custom presets, so you will be able to customize your presets. And that will be done via limitations uh, with meta points, like every single gun, every single helmet, every single headset will have um, their own amount of meta points. And you will have uh, a budget that you can spend on your gear set. And yeah, BZ said they will balance it. Yada, yada, yada. And the usual presets will still stay in the game to make sure that the new players are not overwhelmed by the custom presets. And they can just choose the presets to play with without worrying too much about customizing their own ones. Alright, Nikita also mentioned that uh, Scav DLC... Uh, is coming after the release of the game. You will be able to level up your scav. You will be able to play as the boss. Maybe you will be able to scav into arena as the cleanup crew. And on top of that, he mentioned that you will be able to choose your gear for your scav. Somehow there will be like pieces of gear or you just selecting your gear. 
so it's going to be a good thing and obviously um eod users and um what's their name and her edition users are supposed to get this dlc for free um, another point, Nikita mentioned that Tarkov TV will happen in May, uh, most likely it will happen at the end of May, they will show us um, what they've done, they are going to share the progress, their ideas and their thoughts about the future of Tarkov. Uh, Nikita also mentioned that there will be no new packs, so right now there's a couple of editions on the website available, including Unheard Edition, BG will not be adding any more editions, there won't be another... Um, unhinged edition of Tarkov for $500 or semi semi invisible edition for 150 basically the packs the editions that are available on the websites are the only ones I think BSG might expand on skins like you will be able to buy more skins on the website but no new editions regarding what they mentioned in their previous reddit post on um, reddit obviously Nikita said that um, EOD new additions will be implemented into the game soon. This is what the company and the team is working on at the moment. So the Pockets Quest, Pockets Quest for everyone, by the way, not just EOD. Um, the, uh, the, the the new armband for EOD, the unique clothing, etc, etc, etc. They are working on it and it will be in the game soon. Alright, regarding the distress item. A lot of people were asking the question regarding the distress uh, signal item as it allows you to call your friends into your raid. Uh, Nikita said that it will be rechargeable, so like once you use it, there will be a large cooldown on it. And uh, at the same time, he mentioned that it will be limited. And he said, he we, that was quite funny to me. He mentioned that uh, you will be able to call like only three or four friends uh, into your raid, or maybe less. And for me, three or four friends uh, is a lot. I think that's a freaking game changer. If you're fighting solo or as a two-man against another two-man and you call four friends, I think that's a huge change. Nikita also mentioned that uh, whenever you call your friends, they're not going to spawn in instantly. It will take some time. Um, I mean, obviously, because people have to load into the raid. But secondly, maybe they will not spawn next to you or there will be some other... Um, like, maybe their spawn will be... Um, far off, so they will have to take some time to get next to you, I don't know. But yeah, once again, Nikita mentioned if um, if the item is way too OP, they're gonna balance it uh, in such a way that it's not OP. And um, I think uh, this is uh, more or less it. Give this video a thumbs up, I'm really happy to sum up all the news for you. So you don't have to spend two and a half hours watching the, the video, watching the podcast. And uh, share your thoughts down below about the main points I mentioned. I might have missed some points, but I think I outlined all the most important ones, all the main ones. So once again, thank you for, wa for watching and uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. And check me out on Twitch where I stream daily. Links in the description. Take care.